Welcome to John's region. I just got marked, which means John doesn't like me and is hunting me down. John C has just rolled in there and has taken everything in the name of the cult. Food, supplies, and worst of all, people. Now, firstly, I think I'm pretty damn safe while a couple thousand miles in the air. Secondly, I think it makes way more sense to be contacted via radio as opposed to drug telepathy which is what you made every contact with Faith come across as. So here's the thing about John capturing you. From what I can tell, as long as you can avoid getting shot, you can hold off being captured. At least until you run out of ammo. So why avoid being shot? Well, because apparently how they capture you is by shooting you with a bliss bullet they explain how they knock you out by shooting you by saying over the radio it's deputy hunting season don't kill him use a bliss shoot him with a bliss we'll just ignore the fact that the ai continues to shoot and potentially kill you so what is this because i find it uniquely funny that they're supposed to capture you and you see enemies come out with rocket launchers and mounted machine guns ladies and gentlemen here is my theory the developers didn't want to have to program a special ai capture party group that would try and capture you in a way that makes sense nor did they want to have a cutscene of you getting captured in a way that makes sense because we know they're definitely above doing things like that. So instead, they just use the AI that they already have, throw a little text box in the corner saying capture party incoming, have them say, One bliss bullet will do it. and call it good. The fuck is a bliss bullet by the way? Since when is that a thing? Like keep up that bit of continuity later? We will see. But fuck off with your bliss bullet. You really need to decide what exactly this bliss does and make it stay there. Because I just have this feeling that you made the bliss to try and be your get out of jail free card. Something happens that we can't find a good reason for? Bliss. It's a bliss thing. Anyway, you're put on transport after John and Joseph have a conversation and... The pastor from Falls End causes your truck to flip and roll over with you still inside of it. And show them no mercy. Stay with me. Didn't go through all this trouble just to lose you now. Sir, why? Shooting the tires out would have been enough. And you wouldn't have had to question if I survived it or not. There is a cliff here. What would have happened if I went over that cliff? Hmm? I knew it meant trouble when we couldn't reach you. I'm glad the Lord pointed me in the right direction. Bitter end. We got you back, but there's still others that need our help. Cult's moving the rest of the prisoners up the road. They got Merle too. Time's wasting. Grab what you can and go save them. Alright, so John's just capturing everybody here. How are you people not dead yet? You can't go a day without getting captured if I'm not guarding the fucking streets of the town. And you just found me by random chance? So as far as you knew, you crashed a random transport that had innocent civilians inside and was this close to sending them off a cliff and killing them. Brilliant strategy, sir. All of your decision-making privileges are revoked now. Also, John wants you to atone for all of your sins and will ruthlessly hunt you down when he feels like it, but doesn't care if you capture his ranch. Hold it there, Boeth. He does, actually. But I've only ever had him talk to me on the radio after I captured it on the infamous difficulty. 
Never won any of the others. I do not know why. So now we're on the second capture party, and this time I decided to try and outdrive them. And you know what? It was working. I was getting away from them, which really makes me question why they didn't have a different capture thing in place if they want me to be captured because I'm getting away. So what would be a preferred solution? Well, literally just making it be a cutscene would be enough. This might be nitpicky, but I seriously want to know if falling down a flight of stairs while tied to a metal chair with rope will free you from the chair. Because I highly doubt that would work. Let's just say too much bliss can go to one's head. Fate created her Uh, John, you know that Faith is dead now, right? How is it that your characters are so scripted that you won't even have them acknowledge when one of the family members dies? Why is Joseph the only one who acknowledges their deaths? And in a cutscene, I'll add. I mean, even Lady Dimitrescu in Resident Evil 8 had some lines about you killing her daughters. What have you done to my daughter? The entire bloodline of House Domitresk is done in by the likes of you? Fuck, even Skyrim got it right. Fucking Skyrim. For fuck's sake. Even in the soul care, the defeat of the world has reached my ears, Dova King. I heard John nabbed you and I feared the worst. So I'm glad you made it out, alive. I'm sorry about Hudson. There's not much we can do without John's key. You're gonna have to lure him out. Figure the best way to do that is to burn his whole fucking operation to the ground. So get to work. Oh, burn it all down, Dutch. You think? Here's my question. Why were we not doing that to begin with? Why were they not doing that before I got there? Oh right, because I get captured if I'm not around. I forgot. Fucking useless. Your actions have consequences, deputy. I've gathered all your friends here in Falls End to atone for your sins. You're welcome to join us. After all, if it were for you, they wouldn't be in this predicament. This is your last chance to say yes, deputy. Don't be late. Seriously, so John just strolls up and falls end and no one stops him and he captures all of you. Once again, how are you people not dead yet how all right i like this one individual moment in this sequence the pastor making the switch for his book calling back to when you saw him put his pistol in it when he rescued you nice good now i want to know what john whispered to nick to make him say yes we don't learn what it was so it's just an excuse to make Nick cooperate to move the story along slash see John perform the atonement. Great. Next, I shoot and miss. I'm too far to the right. Someone grabs the gun and wrestles me. And when the gun comes back down, John is now on our right, holding his left ear, implying that I grazed him. This is the quality of this game symbolized in a single moment. And then you have things like this happen. Don't get in the way! Come on! We gotta get after him! Come on, Deputy! Let's go! Before he gets away! Come on, Deputy! The fuck you waiting for? John's getting away! Because I'm the one dragging my feet. 
clearly. So speed up! So admittedly, this didn't go the way I wanted it to. I'll show you the better one in a second, but I have to say, I am sorry, but you cannot have me blow him up with a rocket and show him burning up in a pool of fire and then show me him with a few bullet holes in his coat in a cutscene. Uh-uh. I blew him up. He is dead. D-E-A-D. -E dead. Fuck you. <laughs> Holy shit, finally some gears are turning. Yeah, hi, it's fucking me. You only locked eyes with me for like a minute. Ignoring the fact that my clothes are different, how long do you need to look at me to remember that I'm me and not the enemy who have very clearly defined clothing? I knew we saved you for a reason. You saved me? You were this close to throwing me off of a cliff. Have again. Hope. Whatever happens next, we're with you. Uh, yeah, maybe don't be with me because you guys got captured more times than I did. The job, Brooke. The way I see it, you're the one in charge now. Hudson, no, the sheriff is still alive. He's the one in charge. You can't just suddenly not listen to him now. Granted, I'm the only one doing anything, but still. And if you think that was exciting, just you wait, because now we have Jacob to talk about. I'll see you then.